Hello everyone, welcome to the Dingmaster Pro tutorial video to show people after they purchase the product how to get it set up easily as well as the skeptical people that wondering if it works or not and just wants to watch the video we're more than welcome for you to tune right on in. So let's get into it. Okay, we're well, basically going to go through one hole here. We're going to record some shots. We're going to show you how to record the shot, how to save the shot, and how to replay the shot if you like it. And you can do this on a practice round, or you can actually modify this as an actual round and just record your shots as you go. Uh, this is the most tedious part of it, is getting all your swing sets dialed in completely. And this video is going to be the basic video on how to get everything set up. We're also going to have another video which is going to go really in detail on how to get all your swing sets dialed in, where they pretty much will be hitting the ding every single time. But we need to have make sure your PC is set up right, as well as you've got the Ding Master and the ideal resolution set up for your particular PC so you get a consistent playback shot. So once you load Ding Master for the first time, you'll see that there are no swing sets saved. Maybe in the future we can put some in, but because so many different video resolutions and monitor sizes, it's almost impossible to get an exact uh, swing set because it's all based on your gear and your uh, apparel to have um, accurate swings because if you're playing in a tournament and you record all of your swings um, in the coin rooms where you have all the appella gear you're going to need completely two different swing sets because their timing is going to be different if your gear is geared up for slowing down your meter speed because the meter speed changes then you're going to have to readjust uh, the ding master so for this particular shot we're going to do the driver we're going to do the hundred percent we're going to be basically clicking on record and what you want to make sure is your swing set uh, adjustment is set to zero. You get ready to record your shot and let's begin. We're going to go ahead and just click record. We're going to do our normal shot. You want to try to not move the mouse as much as you can. Once you click record, go right into your back swing. Try not to move the mouse as the meters on the down swing because it just makes more segments and it makes a more unreliable swing. So I suggest that you make the swings like I demonstrate here because then ultimately they'll be the most reliable swings for you. So let's begin. Here we go. Now that shot was a little late, but I'm gonna go ahead and save it because sometimes you'll see that we might have to make a small adjustment to that swing to That's dial in, in to see exactly what timing is going to work best for it. So since I was a little early, we're going to go add just a few milliseconds to the shot. Let's go ahead and play the shot now with the modified time to see if it's closer to the ding. Perfect. Now, you can see that I ideally would leave this even though the adjust swing is set to uh, one because it's a perfect ding. This is gonna be probably the most reliable. If you've Good got ball. this situation, again, let's try this again. Get back. And if I get a perfect ding this time, it's pretty much letting me know. There we go. The program's liking the swing set. It's playing back ideally. This is a good to save. Again, even though the adjust bar now in the extended video will show you how to go in to modify the file itself to compensate for this if you just don't want the, the, the adjust bar to say zero on all your shots. It depends on how particular you are. So I just wanted to show you that's how you're going to go ahead and make your first shot. So I'm pretty confident in my 100% driver. I could go back to the T and make my 98, 99, 97 all the way down and get all my uh, swing sets in. Now, we made some extra ones in for the driver. Some people like to get fancy like Tiger Woods and use the driver around the green. We've allowed you to do that so you can do those kind of shots and confident, but ideally most of the time you're going to be using your shots between 100% and maybe 80%. Very rarely you're going to want to fill up these lower slots 
with your uh, higher clubs unless that's that's what you want to do now when your irons your irons you're probably going to want to make uh, quite a few now your wedges I recommend especially if it's you're around the green you're going to want to make almost every wedge and make a good wedge and save it because that's going to be probably your most utility uh, package because your wedge really will be one of the most clubs you use in your bag especially if you're around the green and you're trying to chip in for shots you want to be able to have a reliable consistent you know swing back and then the putter obviously you're going to want to use all the percentages in the putters because as you advance to higher stages your putter really needs to be reliable and needs to know the exact percentage as well as be able to hit the ding or you're not going to be making your longer distance putts so we just made a nice successful driver uh, 100% now we're going to go ahead and make a full iron okay we're going to figure out what my full iron is we're going to basically say it's a 135 so we're going to go back to the 100% okay uh, for this particular shot I'm going to go ahead and add my backspin because the way we've designed ding master is is that you would want to make your adjustment on your ball dot before you do your swing we couldn't really make it where it would do the back swings there's just too many combinations so uh, that allows you to preset your ball position strike if you want to be able to have the ball hit and stick you would want to have full backspin if you wanted the ball to hit and release you would have it more toward the full forward spin so for this demonstration purposes we're going to try to get a hundred percent ding pretty close and here we go so we're on the hundred the iron we're on the hundred percent we're going to go ahead and record this shot here we go Well, that was a perfect shot. Let's go ahead and save that. And normally I would uh, tell you that's a pretty good shot. Let's go ahead and reverse that, get that back. Now we know we have a good shot under the 135. And we are going to try to get a little bit more precise on this shot just for demonstration because we know we got the iron and that pretty much did a heartbeat so let's go ahead and put about that much a little bit less backswing so it releases a little bit more and gets closer to the hole let's see what we have here Now you can see that swing is perfect I don't need to make any adjustments to it and I'm very happy with the iron 100% I've already saved it we're gonna keep that and start building up my shots and we're gonna show you how to do a putter now it's very easy it's just the same we're gonna switch to the putter let's go ahead and check, take this view and we are going to go ahead and line up for the putt but in order for me to not make the putt so we can try it again we're going to mess up the, the putt but we're going to get the ding right so we're on a putter we need a 30 percent so let's go ahead and pick well for this particular shot it says that we need a 30 percent so let's go ahead and pick the 30 percent boom and now we're going to just put it over here so we don't make the shot but we're going to certainly try to ding it so here we go let's record this shot Go to 30%, release, try to ding it, save that shot, it was very close, and again you're going to have to uh, play it back to see, because sometimes even if you've dinged it, it might end up playing back just a little bit different, so for this, for this test, we are going to... Take it, give me, and come back to that putt, and we're going to try this again. And we're going to probably see that it's going to be good enough, even if it's a 30%. Let's get back that, or there, we're at 30%. Let's go ahead and play this shot. You can see it was a little late. We can.